220 East Sycamore Street, Morgantown, Indiana, 46160. This is where I grew up. Well, not this particular house, but right there, there used to be a line of evergreens. This fence used to not be there. there used to be a line of evergreens through there. And it was a garden back there. And right where you see that, that barrel right there, that used to, that's uh, where the where, where area where our dogs were at and our cats and our flower beds. And there used to be a lot of trees. There was a tree even struck by lightning that was in, in here. And you got these trees right here that are growing. Now that tree's been there for a while. Um, but all this used to be yard. And there's somebody bought it, took it over, and right where that garage is, there used to be a shed. That porch, that porch is still the same. Those windows up there with the, the way the glass is, is the same. Stoles, their last name now, they used to shoot fireworks off that hill. There used to be ditches here. You see, there's still a little bit of evidence of that. Not so much anymore. That was all there. Boy, oh, these steps. <laughs> They've changed a little bit, but in the doors have, but that perch used to be up there. The house was shaped like this course is made with, this is the original stone. We planted this tree. I'm pretty sure we did. Granny's room used to be right there, living rooms right there. Where the flowers are out. You know, there used to be ditches here. This pine tree was not always here. Corner of sycamore and pine. Yeah, this is all flattened. Th there used to be ditches here. When fall would come, we'd gather up the leaves, we'd burn them there. That tree is there, but there used to be a lot more through here. This post has been here, was here. In fact, eh, that's not the same post. I'm thinking of. Right there. Basement down there. This used to be where the garage I was converted into a room is at. That post used those two posts are still there. They they were they used to be a clothesline through there. This tree's not always been there. Yeah, a lot of this has changed. A lot of this used to be, there used to be like a hill we used to jump through here. Our bicycles and stuff. More ditches and stuff. I mean, man, now these poles were still here. Watched a lot of, I'll tell you what, I, I this, particularly this spot, now that tree, I don't, wasn't always there. We used to play what we called a tennis ball, kind of a form of a baseball with a tennis ball. We used to play it through here. Twin, uh, Brad and Travis used to live there. Their uncle lived there. I don't know if their mom still lives there or not. Um, but that used to be open and there used to be a lot more, uh, you could have had a lot better view of the western sky when storms would come in. Uh, there were more trees here too. Man, all this has changed. That, that there's the, uh, the alleyway. Actually, you know what? There is something still here. That shed right there. That shed, mom and my stepfather at the time helped build it. It's still there. There's still some evergreens there too. That's, we used to have kittens in there. Our cats would have kittens in there. We used to go down this alley all the time. Shit, and the old door's still there too. I, I planted some pines here. They're they're no longer here. When I was a kid, I used, to, I used to go up and down all this. Lenore and Virgil Hall used to live there. Mrs. Miller used to live there. We used to play basketball there with the twins. Turpin residence is over there too. Danny Turpin used to live over there. Danny residence used to be down there. Wow. Doesn't look the 
same. That's extraordinary. I lived here. <laughs> lived here for 16 years. You know, I've eclipsed it now with a living in New Whiteland, but. I don't know if you guys caught that. Now, how ironic a morning dove. I used to hear them morning and day. I thought they were owls around here. And I used to hear them all the time. And ironically, I thought they were owls, but they were a dove. <laughs> One flies right by me.